is its art. It has to be one of the most unique games I have ever played. The first things that came to mind after playing the demo were depressing but relaxing and Frogger. Skim, developed by Ewood Vanderwerf and Niels Slickerman, is a 3D puzzle adventure platformer set to release on July 18th, 2024. But for now, you can play the demo on Steam. In the game, you play as a shadow creature, most likely some kind of fourth dimensional frog, hopping from one shadow to another in a vibrant and calming environment. The game integrates light, shadow, and animation into its gameplay. The aesthetics are a thing of beauty. While arcading myself through the gameplay, I just kept getting distracted by the two-tone colors and the line art. Every level has a different color scheme. The music and sound effects also complement the art style. It's as relaxing as it is potentially depressing, as there are a few story elements in the game. While it is a game of few words, you start off following a baby and make it through a child, a teenager, a heartbroken student, a fireman, a 9 to fiver before it turns into some kind of sandbox where you're free to jump from shadow to shadow in a bustling European coded city, sometimes solving daily commute puzzles such as activating a traffic light or disabling a train stop, freely galloping from one shape of black to another as the world keeps on spinning, it was at this point that I wondered, is this a demo or am I playing the full game? Have I become the shadow frog? Who am I? Yes, this is one of the most satisfying demos I have ever played. The so-called demo is pretty much a whole ass game by itself. I had to stop playing at some point because I don't usually like platform games and this has gotten too far. I don't want to be consumed by the shadow after all. I'm already a frog myself. I can't lose me. I am meant to hate platform games. I was starting to enjoy this one. Rock Paper Shotgun described the game as pretty frog and delightful, praising its shadow hopping mechanic and the joy of exploring its colorful town. The game's platforming through shadows and animated environments has also been highlighted. On YouTube, game trailers noted that in Scheme, you are on the hunt for the human being you're the shadow of and praise this inspiration from children's games with made up rules. Another YouTuber, Awood, shared the game's origin and history, expressing excitement about its release. Scheme is a promising indie game with a unique gameplay experience, perhaps too unique. It boasts in the most subtlest of ways an innovative use of shadows and light, tremendous aesthetics, cozy music and sounds, the calming atmosphere of a living, breathing city telling a story with the fewest of words, a slice of life infringed by a fringe creature transporting from shadow to shadow, manipulating the structures of the daily commute. Shadow Frog lives, long live the Shadow Frog, I'm out, peace.